Hi, and welcome to another Lunar Academy video. Today we're going to be giving you a walkthrough of Lunar Elements, a playable builder which allows anybody to create ads in a matter of minutes with no development expertise or resources. For Lunar Elements, we've added a new option within the playable section of Lunar Playground. Instead of uploading a playable that you've created in Unity or JavaScript, you can now add a new Elements playable using this entry point. And this is where it starts, the template gallery. To start with, we're providing five templates that cover a wide variety of use cases that we've seen to drive significant performance. So to get you started, you're going to want to enter your playable name, add an icon, and also include your App Store URLs, and then choose your template. All of these come with full information in our developer docs, including example use cases and descriptions. So make sure you find the template that best fits your needs and gameplay. And there we have it. The playable base has now been created. Now we can open up the version editor and start exploring what this template has to offer. As you can see, the menu on the left-hand side includes a wide selection of options provided to you to customize the playable experience. Each playable has a slightly different set of items that are suited to that use case. The first thing that I need to do is select a video which will be the main content of my playable ad. Lunar Playground provides a really useful media library, a place where you can store all of your content, such as videos or icons, to use across any playable you create. I'm going to choose the Upload option and upload a video from my asset folder. As you can see, Lunar provides a number of options for you when uploading assets, allowing you to control the final size and quality quickly. For this video, all of the settings look great, except I'd like to crop the video as the bottom part doesn't really add much for this specific piece of gameplay. So, I'll slide this up and then upload my video. Okay, so now you can see the video is playing. Of course, due to the way I cropped it, I have some unwanted edges. Luna provides different fill options, but for this playable, I'd like to make use of a filter provided, which adds a blurred copy of the video to the background when there's space. This template allows me to define up to three interaction points. So let's tackle that next. I only want two for this video, so I'll change that in the drop down here. And then I will change the timings until it feels right. Ignore the finger in position for now. So, one second for the first tap looks good. What about the second tap? Let's try six seconds. As you can see, this is too long and I miss the engagement. So I'll drop that down to 4.5 seconds. We're good to go. Next up is controlling the position and image for the hints. First of all, let's take a look at the finger. I don't feel like this finger really suits the game style, but don't worry, Luna has you covered. I can either upload my own animation here, we highly recommend AAPNGs, or I can go to the asset library provided and choose from a number of ready-made gestures. For this game, we want a tap mechanic, and I'm going to pick this style. I'll quickly downsize the finger as it's slightly too big. And now all I need to do is adjust the position along the X and Y axes. So I'll move it over to the right and slightly down. And I think I'll add a hint text item to guide the user. And there we go, perfect. I'll also go ahead and copy these settings to the next hint too. We also have the option to control the offset in landscape mode, but I'll skip that for this demo and let's continue. The final creative component of this playable is the end card. Before I create the end card, I want to change the default font of this playable. To do that, all I need to do is scroll down to advanced settings and click here to change the default font. Let me upload a nice font that I chose earlier and you'll see this preview in the media library. Looks great. All right, now let's get back to the end card where you'll see this font in action. Lunar Elements provides an end card layout that you can customize based on your creative needs. In this case, I like the simple design, but want to change the icon, text, and button styles. Like any other replaceable asset in Elements, I'm going to again make use of the media library and upload a new icon for the end card. 
using the app icon is typically a nice idea here. Next up, let's add some wording that makes sense for this game. Something about blobs should work. And finally, I'd like my button to fit in better with the colours of the game. You can use a custom button here, but Luna also provides a selection for you in the assets section of the media library. I'm going to go ahead and choose a yellow button, which I think works pretty well here. Let's test it out. Yeah, that looks great. The final section I'd like to bring to your attention is the App Store controls. Here, you can control how your users are brought to the app stores. You can make the playable shorter or longer. And of course, you'll need to test and measure how the CTR impacts your conversion rates and IPM. For now, I'll leave the default options for this playable. And there you have it, our first playable made in a matter of minutes, and it looks great. I'm now able to download this for any of the supported networks and go live. And where supported, Luna will inject in-ad analytics into the playable so you can track important metrics such as engagement rate and completion rate. We can't wait to see what you'll create with Elements. Start your free trial today at lunalabs.io.